under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny as pitching matchups go it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well Matt these are two of the best in the business two guys that throw a lot of strikes and if their game is on we should have a very low scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. It's interleague baseball on MLB Network. Shohei Otani gets the ball for the Angels in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on it? Leading off well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. Game time temperature tonight 62 degrees but should drop into the 50s before we're done and he set down one away. Next it'll be Willie Adamas ready to deal here comes the first pitch and he holds up here but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Off the plate and in it's a ball and a strike. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Fowler giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Batting third. The left field in is Christian Yelich. First chance for him here in the top of the first Yelich. with nobody on. Foul tip into the catcher's glove at strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here. 0 and 2. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Gone in order of the Brewers. Now the Angels will get their first. Well, there you see Dexter Fowler as he'll be the one to commence the action in the bottom and half of the first. For the Angels, the right Just here. lucky to make contact Dexter. on that one as it's chopped Fowler. Fowler. Here it comes. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Hit in the air out toward left. Yelich on the move. He's there and records the first out. That second. Well, here's a look now at the Angels' starting lineup. Mark, what's your take on him against one oh. of the best starters in the game? Matt, do you focus on this lineup? The middle of the order jumps out at you because of the big power. But my focus today is on the table setters. The guys that set the tone. They have to be willing to work the count and find ways to get on base and create a little bit. Of oh, a great diving stop at short. Hats wow. off to that one. That is third. Well, let's get another look the at that diving base. play on show track. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, a great job just to get the glove on it, and perhaps just as impressive was the throw to first. Got a lot behind that ball to nab the runner up the line. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Now to bat, Avisail Garcia. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Oh, he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Yeah, and he's letting these guys know early on he's not going to be afraid to work inside. I'm interested to see if that takes some of the aggressiveness away from these hitters. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Here's the first pitch. A little bouncer. Garcia on at first nobody out. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. That is good. Here's how the halos are going to line up on defense. And I'm locking in today on defensive extraordinaire David Fletcher. This is a guy that can beat you on the defensive side. He's got great hands, 
quick feet, great reaction time, loves turning the double play. They love having him out there. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Adele is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Batting seven. So the stepping in is Daniel, Daniel Vogelback. He takes Vogelback. his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. No score here as we play inning number two. One and one the count to the Brewers first baseman. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. And he fouls this one off. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Milwaukee. Digging in will be Anthony Rendon. And He'll look to get something Four going here in this scoreless ball game. Baseman. This is skied Anthony. into the air to straightaway center. Keen has it, and it's a quick out number one. Batting fifth. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Milwaukee Brewers. And guys, I'm going to be locking in on Willie Adamas. Elite shortstop up the shoot. Yuck. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. Justin Upton with the solo home run as the Angels take a one to nothing lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. that so cool. Joe Adele bats no, now. Good. So he'll go after the first yeah. pitch and bounce it into oh, foul yeah. territory. Angels lead at one nothing here in inning number two. A bouncer up the middle. Wong is there. And there are two away now. Batting seven. The catcher. So two out, nobody on. And the catcher, Max Stassi, will be the next to bat. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. His heart sank right there when that ball met the bat, but just had him out front just enough to give him another shot at potentially putting him away. Wong has it over to first, and that retires the side. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. We've played two, and the Angels lead it here one nothing. All set for the start of the inning, and coming forward the veteran outfielder, Lorenzo Cain, just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fouled away. Fouled off. And it's fouled away. Hey, five foul balls in a row, loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. Next Bradley up Bradley. is Jackie right Bradley field. Jr. Jackie Bradley and now the first pitch on the ground to the right side. He's got it. And that's the second out. Now batting. The second baseman, Colton Wong. So two away in the Brewers' half of the third, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. Hit out towards second, reined in. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. of the inning now and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop Luis Renquifo. 
first That's pitch on the way. Louis. Lifted Red. down the line and left. Here comes Yelich. He's there and records the first down. Cool. Enough. The second and base now base. in the box, Jake David Jake. Fletcher. Fletcher. The pitch. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Under it is Yelich, and there are two away now. Now batting. The right fielder, Dexter. Now back to the top Fowler. of the lineup. Stepping in, Dexter Fowler flew out and is only at bat so far. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Ranging back is Bradley. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo home run there for Dexter Fowler. And the Angels are now out to a 2 to nothing lead. Ah, oh, man, that swing right there, Dan. That had to feel good. You're facing an elite starter. You don't know if you're now even going to get wood on the baseball field. today. You know, and that'll rattle you a little bit. This guy's been throwing the ball wow. great, one of the top pitchers in the game. He's not used to guys barreling him up and hitting him in the seats. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix now it up back. a little bit more because the they are on his stuff. Jared. At the plate, Jared Walsh. Swing and a ball hard hit toward deep right. And he'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the warning track, and the inning is over. Angel strike for one, and it comes on. All set for the start of the fourth. And stepping up is the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Boy, that's just about in the catcher's glove there. It's 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Willie Adamas goes quietly, leading off the fourth. Christian Yelich is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. A great job of changing yep. okay. speeds there. It's 0 and 2. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Now here's the first offering. Avisail Garcia is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0 and 1. And it's 0-2 to Avisail Garcia. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And, and the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. Anthony. Way late on the fastball Rendon. for strike one. He's getting a lot of first pitch outs, and it's really easy to see why. He's been perfect. 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes to hitters so far in this one. Keen is right there, one down. The and yeah. now the designated the hitter for the Angels, Justin Upton. Yeah. Off to a fine start in this one after yeah. launching a homer his first time up. A bouncer to the left side, throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. So next to bat will be Joe Adele. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And there's a base hit on the line. Throw into second. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1-2-3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two-out knock. Well, this lineup is so deep, one through nine, they could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. Shortstop, Louis Red Heepoe. That'll bring in Luis Renjifo. Hard hit towards center. And the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Clearly enjoy. 
Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Stepping in once again is Narvaez. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Popped him up. Walsh has room in foul territory. One out. So here's Eduardo Escobar. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And he fouls this one off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right, but what's really Not impressive bad. to me, he no, hasn't please. walked anyone either. Daniel. He's just pounding the zone. Vogelback. His stuff is dirty today. Daniel Vogelback will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. The Brewers down to their final strike, and he gets strike three called to end it here, and with that, this one is over. Pretty efficient game right there. Low scoring, 2-0 game, well played defensively on both sides, and a couple of runs is all it took in this one. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Los Angeles Angels took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Shohei Otani earns the victory on the mound. Brandon Woodruff was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.